Hey everyone, it's Bobby with Country Craft Creation Design Team here to share a new project with you. This is a mini album I created using the Warm and Cozy uh, paper by e Echo Park. It is so pretty, I tell you, it makes designing really fun when you get such pretty papers is what she sends us. On the cover I have just created a placard here and with a lightweight chipboard so that I could uh, raise it up and use it as a pocket. I have two of the 4x6 cards in here and I've just attached a ribbon with one of the Butterbean metal charms. That one's just a snowflake and this one is a little snowflake and it says let it snow. And then on the back they're just plain. This little pocket here is a die that uh, came in my stocking swap that Tammy had not too long ago. It's this little die here, and um, the gal that sent me this collection, is she just sent some of the neatest things, and I, a lot of it I had never seen before. But it just cuts out all these little slots. Oh, this is the one on the inside. I'm sorry, I'm showing you the wrong one. I used that on the inside. I was thinking that's what I had here. This is just a little pocket that I cut, and but she did send me these flowers. And it was came in my stocking. And this is from the sticker sheet. Another one of the Butterbee charms. And I just have a little um, photo mat in here on a tag. Then on the spine, I just have the design paper. Double matted. And on the back, I've used some of the stickers. And this little uh, placard here that you can put the date or who it's to. The year, whatever you might want. So I've tied it with a ribbon, and this ribbon is, I love this ribbon. Tammy carries it in several different colors. I've had the red, the blue, the gold, the white on white, and it's so easy to work with. It makes really pretty bows. So when you open it, this is a very simple album. It laid flat until I put these pictures and that deer on it. So that's, that's the hold up there. We have several pockets in here. This is the little die I just told you about that has all the pockets in it. And I just put four little tags in it and put it on top of my belly band. So we have two pockets on the left. Here's the first one. I used one of the four by six cards. And it opens this way for photo mats and then on the back for more photo mats. And we also have another one of the four by six cards. Really pretty. Walking in Winter Wonderland. Then we have this little folder with two of the uh, stickers from the sticker sheet. And just a simple photo mat here. And I think it's plain on the back, I believe. Oops. Yeah, it's plain on the back. So you could add another photo if you wish. This is just a belly band. This is a pocket. And then on this side we have another pocket. And you can get more in here than what I have. I just wanted to put something in, in there so that you could see how it works. See where all the pockets are. Here's another one. Snow much fun. So on the right hand side. Oh, this is the spine. This is from the sticker sheet. And these little snowflakes are also from Better Bee Scraps. Now these things are not carried in Tammy's store. So if you want those charms you need to go to. Uh, butterbeescraps.com. In this pocket, this ankle pocket, we have a double photo mat on the front and the back. It just says bundle up. Then we have a larger photo mat. Three photos here and three on the back. And then in these two little pockets we have tags. These are from um, these bow bunny guys. I got these from Tammy. I don't know if she still has them or not. They're called Nested Terrific Tag Dies. And then I just put white on the back with one of the little snowflakes from the sticker sheet. And then this is from the um, sticker sheet, the trim. And then Tammy sent this little snowball trim. I thought it was so cute. So I put that on the pocket and I used three of the little pieces of ephemera. Oh, so very cold. This one says, cold hands, warm heart. 
And this one says the world changes when it snows. Isn't that pretty? I love the little truck. Now the truck over here I was from the sticker sheet and I put some Wink Costello on him. And this is just cotton balls shredded out. And I cut out three little trees with a die I have in my stash. And I used um, gesso to put snow on the tree and then went over it with Wink Costello. And that's all I did to that. But it turned out real cute. So I hope you enjoy this project. If you do make one, I would love to see what you make. I really enjoy it when people share their creations with us and we get to see what other people make. All right, that's my album, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Bobby. I am starting to build this new album this morning, so I thought I would share it all with you as I go along. Uh, I have ripped, wrapped my album cover using Tammy's new method. If you haven't tried that yet, I really think you'll like it. I love it. So... Um, I have just wrapped the album and then I've covered the inside of the spine with a piece of uh, black artisan cardstock. So we're going to start building the inside and then we'll do the outside as well. Glue or something on my finger. I think I broke my finger now. I was messing with this glue bottle. And I think I chipped my fingernail. I tell you, if you can do anything stupid, I'll do it. I knocked this off the table one day. And, of course, it couldn't land like this. It had to land like that. And it busted this top off. So now my glue, my fine tip will sit on it. So Tammy's going to send me another one of these black tops because I don't have any. And it's really inconvenient like that. But, you know, you make do make the best you can with what you got. So I'm working with it. So make sure I've got a good seal in here. And on the right hand side, now there is a cut list so I'm not going to worry about, I mean you don't have to worry about writing down these measurements. And I tell you on the cut list where to score and all of that good stuff. So this piece is going to go right in here as a base. Boy, somebody outside is making a lot of noise. Goodness. And I've inked all my edges with um, Tim Holtz black soot. Just lightly, just enough to take away the, the white edge, but I didn't want a lot of black on the paper itself. This is going to go in here with just a small margin around the perimeter. Just like that. And I have, uh, I put on the uh, cut list how to cut the angle pocket and all of that. I gave you the measurements, how to mark it. So you won't have any trouble with that. But if you do, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message. I don't mind that at all. I would rather you would send me a message as to, you know, have any problems with it at all. So once you cut this... Okay, we're going to try this again. This is your corner pocket. And it's going to sit right down at the bottom just shy of the yeah, right along that edge and just make sure you don't get it into your um, fold here where your hinge is and I've scored and mitered and burnished and all of that good stuff so we're going to put this down Sure, I 
stay away from that. There we go. this I cut the piece to fit from the widest point to the tallest point and then once I get this the size I want I put it up underneath position it where I want it and then I draw my line and cut it you can cut it with scissors or with your um, knife or whatever you want to use your cutting tool just to make sure you get it right but if once you get this angle right, if you need to do any trimming, trim your straight edges. Don't don't go back and trim this because you'll change the angle of the whole page thing if you do. So this is going to go on there. even all the way across. The little glue oozing out there, which I'm not surprised since I can't really use the fine glue tip. Now I have two little pockets that I want to sit down along the bottom here, but I want to notch those. And this, I should have put this flap down first, but I didn't. But I can put a piece of trim up here to cover it. I was going to put this flap in here in these two little pockets. Then inserts would hold it down. But you know, I'm thinking I might. Maybe not. We'll see. Let me lay that aside. Anyway, I do want the two pockets. So I am going to notch these on my little envelope punch board real quick. is center. Okay. Let me put some more black ink on there. Actually, I think I'll punch these again. This one off center. I might need to cut another piece for that. That one fits that one fine. Yeah, I 
messed that one up. I'll have to cut another piece for that one. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I cut another piece for that. So what I want to do is set two little pockets down here at the bottom. Side by side. Let me fold this one under a little bit more. Just a little bit too wide. I had to rescore it. To make it fit because it was just a little bit too wide and I don't want it hanging over. see if that's good enough. Right to the edge of that. That should be fine. Just so they sit side by side. Okay. So let's glue these little pockets down. Oh, I gotta I gotta trim this one since I re it. Don't want all that excess bulk in there. I'm going to take a little off of here too. And a little off of that. That'd be better. Okay. Getting a little bit more glue than I want, but it's kind of since I can't use that little fine tip, it's kind of a pain, but it is what it is. Let's see if we're going to be okay here. Over just a hair. Just a hair. Okay, now this one. extra glue in there. Okay, now we can glue these down. Make sure I get the right one here. of it. Just a hair. Don't want it to overlap the other pocket. It still is just a little bit. It's because I had to trim that one down. because it was hitting where I didn't want it to hit.
I'm going to put it down there because I don't have any more of this paper and I'll put a piece of trim in there. I think it'll work. one I cut before, but that doesn't etch either. What a bummer. Oh boy. Alright, let me pause it here. I'm going to find another piece of paper. Okay, we're going to try this again. I found another piece. I did cut it, punched it, and inked it, and put it down. Now I have a piece of the sticker that I've mounted on some black cardstock. And I'm just going to adhere it on both sides. Too much glue, of course, because it's coming out of that big old fat tip. And I'm going to put it just above the bottom, and I'm just attaching it on both sides, or both ends, I should say. And where's the other piece? some more glue on this. It didn't catch. Very good. I probably waited too long. There we go. piece will go right here. Just on the edges. You have to keep wiping it off. And that is going to attach right here. And then I have this real cute trim that Tammy sent. And I'm going to put it right along the bottom. And I'm just going to do one piece straight across. That's so cute, it looks like little snowballs. And that will make a little tuck spot. up the white from up here. So I'm going to have to be very careful with this. I don't want a whole bunch. Just a little bit. And of course it's got to give me way more than I want. Wipe the majority of it off. There's that baby wipe. I want it to stay tacky all the way to the edge. I just want it down on the bottom of the trees. Now, I don't know if I want to use this flap or not. I was going to add this up here. And then have inserts in here to hold down the flap. And I'm thinking it 
just might be a little too busy. I don't know. Maybe if I shorten it some. I just don't know if I like it or not. I'm just thinking maybe that might be a bit much. I don't know. I'll hold off on it for now. I can always add it after a while if I want to. So we need to move to the left side now and we'll have some inserts for that. Let me get my pen back in here until I'm ready to glue again. I don't want it to dry up on me. Okay. <clears throat> so, for this side, we have a large pocket that is going to go here. And like I said, uh, the cut list will give you all the measurements, the punching guide, everything. So you won't have any problems at all. So this is going to sit here just shy of this center fold there. Whatever you call it. It's not really a center fold. <laughs> so we're going to get our glue on here. to work with this when you're used to having that fine tip. It makes a big difference. Okay, whoops. Get my sleeve caught on it. cut this blue snowflake which is going to slide right up under here get it over those flaps and darn it I keep catching my sweater sleeve on everything for their photo mats. And that'll be right like that. So let's get some glue on there. slide for me. Maybe. Uh, always wants to be difficult when you're recording, doesn't it? For goodness sakes, it's just really giving me a hard time today. Crud. What is the deal here? There. Now if my glue hadn't dried out while I'm fiddling around. Yeah, it 
some more glue in here. I was afraid of that after all that fiddling around. Next thing we have is a pocket doing just the opposite, but it's going this way. And it's going to sit kind of in the center of those two, just a little bit shorter. And like I said, the measurements are on your, your cut list. two of these pockets. One of them's a little bit smaller than the other. So the larger one goes first. And this one just sits just inside the edge, just a hair. side of this one. Hope it's not as much trouble as the other one. Hopefully not. Now, this piece This piece is going to go right here to cover that edge like that I get catching this sweater sleeve on everything. <laughs> and then this one will go the opposite direction. doesn't matter if these don't match up perfectly because we have a um, band that's going to go over the top of it. Like this. So that gives you a pocket here, a pocket here, and then you'll have a pocket under each of these. Do this. 
is going to be hooked at the top and the bottom. Let me rescore this real quick. Oh, that's what it is. This one had a double score. And I put it on the wrong line. Let's see if that matters now. my phone. Oops. After all, we're human. And we want it pretty even between the two. There we go. will sit on top of that. And it's too short. It's supposed to be this way anyway. Let me cut another one of those. Boy, I'm just doing a bang up job today, aren't I? Cutting everything wrong. Okay. So, it needs to be nine and a quarter. Actually, a little less. Nine and a quarter by three and three eighths. Okay, I can do that real quick.
I think I've used it all. This green is pretty. It's got blue in it. I'm looking real quick at the rest of my papers. something else that I can use in place of that. Well, no thing anymore then. So we can either use the green, which I'm not crazy about there, or we can use this. I really like that plaid. Who use that? Okay. I said three and three eighths. Actually. Let me see what this is. trim it. You just take a little hair off of it. Perfect. Okay. Well, so much for that. I really like that there, but you know, can you use something you ain't got? This seems to be my day for screw ups. <laughs> so many things going on at one time is not surprising. It is pretty there. Like it better than I thought. Okay, so we have the main components on the inside of our folio. Folder. It's not really a folio. So we have a pocket here. Pocket here goes all the way through. Pocket here. Pocket here. And one here. And one here. Pretty cool, huh? 
So we have lots of inserts to make for this little turkey. So let's go to the outside cover for the back. I have cut this one and I'm going to put a little plate on the back. Does that need to be trimmed? I can't tell. Yeah, just a hair. Let me take just a hair off of this. Never hurts. Better safe than sorry. See over there, very good. And just a tiny, ever tiny little bit. And we'll ink it again. seeing much black on the one edge. I just want to make a place on the back to put a date or like a, a label type thing saying the year and maybe where the ski trip was if that's what they're doing. I mean, I have no idea who's going to end up with this album, but a lot of people take ski trips. I'm not a skier, but a lot of people do. I thought this was perfect paper for those people. It's all the right colors, and it's all real outdoorsy. Guess what I didn't do? I didn't put my ribbon down. I'm telling you. Told you I'm really messing up today. Shame and eat Christmas. Alright, let me find what I did my ribbon. I laid it out here. I want to use this ribbon that I bought from Tammy some time ago. It's the kind of an organdy, I guess. And it's like a dotted Swiss. It's so pretty. I just love it. And she's got it in many colors. I'm telling you, if I didn't know my own name today, I'd probably forget it. <laughs> this has a, been a comedy of errors today. So we are about center. That's nine and a half. So we're going to go four and a half right here. Make another little piece of that. Make sure it's anchored down good. Don't want any loose edges. And then we'll glue the paper back down. I'm telling you. I'm batting a big fat zero today. That's what happens when you get too many things going on and you try to hurry. It's like, oops. I know better than try to hurry myself up. But at least I caught it before it was stuck down too tight. Otherwise, I'd have to find another alternative for my closure. Okay. There we go. All is well that ends well, right? Okay, we've got our ribbons on. Now I've cut a piece for the front cover. Make sure that's not going to need to be trimmed. No, I think it's fine. 
So we're going to put that down. And I'm going to do the front cover just, I'm going to embellish it just a little bit different. And I'll have a pocket on the front and I'll show you that here in just a second. I've got all the pieces cut out for it. down on here. to use my bone folder on the side so I don't leave a shiny mark. Sometimes if you do like this you get so much pressure that it leaves a shiny mark. Now, for the front, I have a piece of lightweight chipboard that I have wrapped and this is also on your um, cut list and it's going to go right here and I'm going to glue it on three sides and leave it open as a pocket. Okay? Just a very shallow pocket, just like something lightweight can tuck under it, like, you know, it'll have a place where you can tuck under it. Now, I cut this the same height as the cover, and then I took off just a little tiny sliver so that when I wrapped it with the paper, it wouldn't extend beyond the cover. So, let me put this on here. this paper. I think it's really pretty. So it's going to sit maybe like an inch from the spine edge. And I'm just going to put glue on the top, the bottom, and the left hand side. And it doesn't have to be covered all the way underneath because nobody's ever going to see it. So let me make sure I get this straight here. small pocket for the front, which I have cut the the paper for. Did I ink that? Yeah, but I need more right here. there to hold some more something or another. can make 
make some little tags or little photo mats to go in there. And I'm going to put it right about so. And then I've got these um, flowers. Little tiny flowers and things that came with um, my Christmas stocking swap. And I'm going to use those on here, I think. So there's that. <clears throat> now, for my spine, I have a piece of cardstock cut in kind of a rust color. And <clears throat> I have to cut this down a little bit, and a little bit shorter than this. So I can double mat it. Let me cut this off here and get it over here where I can see it gets kind of dark on that other table. is an inch and it needs to be seven eighths. Get it straight and trim it. Sync this up. can put this on the spine.
here's our little pocket. One there. Another one here. Oops. Ink pad. <laughs> oh, it's got my ribbon in it. Then we have a pocket here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here. Isn't that cute? I really like that. So now I get to make all the inserts. Is that straight? I think it is. I turned it sideways and I wasn't sure. I do need to cut a piece to go in here, but this one's not long enough. And I don't like that there anyway. I would like this side. But it's a little bit short. It would probably work okay, but I'd rather have it be a little bit longer. So that would be a good option for in there. So, alright, it's break time, guys. I gotta have a little break, go get a bite of lunch, and I'll be back and we will make our photo mats and inserts and all of that fun stuff. Alright, I'll see you back shortly.